afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are Emerging Strategic Partners Incorporated, connecting the global marketplace one nation at a time. I am Taylor Kennerly, and these are my colleagues, Asia Piro, Jennifer Bogus, and Kaylin Oliver. Our job is to help companies expand internationally. And what we will do for you today is show you our plan to help Natura become a company that's not only not only posh, but highly profitable within its first five years of expanding into the United States. We will begin our presentation with a recap of Natura's history. We will then provide you with a SWOT analysis and a brief, a brief overview of Natura's competition and product line. We will then introduce you to our innovative plan to help Natura expand into the United States. Finally, wrapping up with financials and a summary. Let's take a walk through Natura's history. In 1969, Natura was founded by Guillermo Piero in Brazil. In 1979, billionaire Luis de Braleal launched Natura Cosmeticals, which became the largest direct sale cosmetics company in Brazil. In the 1980s, Natura experienced a revenue increase 30 times that of the 70s. It had 200 employees and over 2,000 consultants. This led to 1997, when Natura became the largest Brazilian cosmetic company with 3,000 employees and 145,000 consultants in Brazil. In 2000, Natura ranked second best company to work for and valued top five brands in the country. In 2005, Natura opened a flagship store in France. This store was successful and helped them to realize the need for a direct, direct sales model and consultants. In 2007, Natura looked to ex continue its international expansion. For SWOT analysis, some key strengths that we've noticed for Natura it is that it has diversified product offerings. It also has a flexible sales model, which can be either direct or online based, and it has green in initiatives that are environmentally friendly. Some weaknesses that we have noticed is that Natura is an unfamiliar brand in the United States. It also has a high dependence on its direct selling channel. Opportunities are the rising demand for natural and organic beauty care products and the growing Hispanic population based on the 2010 census. Threats are the expensive products that Natura offers and the existing U.S. competitors. So a few companies that we feel are high, high, are potential threats to Natura are Avon, L'Oreal, and Nivea. Avon is the leading global company and branches in more than 100 companies. It is the world's largest direct seller and has a strong core beauty portfolio. Its products are also a less expensive than Natura. L'Oreal is one of the leading beauty companies in the world and has well-known celebrities to advertise their products. Nivea, voted the most trusted brand for skincare in 2007 by European consumers, is part of a leading skin and beauty care international company called Firestore. It boosted its direct marketing efforts by hiring top model Giselle Buchan in 2004. Natura has three well-known and successful product lines. First is Kronos, developed to retard the signs of aging. This product line is developed into three categories for women ages 30 to 45, 45 to 60, and 60 and older. This product line consists of skin preparation creams, facial hydration, and body treatments. Next is Mame Bebe, a line developed for pregnant women, babies, and new mothers. This line has mild fragrances and textures and comes in pastel tones for their packaging. This line consists of soaps, lotions, and creams. Next is Natura Echoes, a line that we felt would be beneficial to specifically focus on, which my colleague, Asia Pio, will talk about later in her slides. Natura Echoes is primarily an all-natural product line. It is made of fruits, flowers, and nuts, found in the Brazilian name rainforest. Natura Echoes has soaps, body lotions, perfumes, shampoos, hair conditioners, and other bath and beauty products. Natura Echo's products are made with natural extracts found in the vegetation in the Brazil. Um, some products are cacao, also known as a coconut, passion fruit, and acai, a very known to be a good anti-aging product. Natura Echo's also has strong community ties. It supports 26, 26 small farmers. It is also highly sustainable. It offers recyclable packaging and refills to avoid unnecessary waste. It is made in environmentally and socially sustainable operations. And Echo's products are biodegradable with recyclable packaging. I will now pass the presentation over to my colleague, Asia Piro.
Good afternoon, my name is Asia Piero and I will be discussing our strategic recommendations for expanding Natura into the United States. I will begin by discussing why we know that the Echoes product line is the best suited line to launch Natura's expansion into the U.S. I will then be discussing our marketing strategy. This includes exposing hotel guests to the Natura brand for, an, for a diversified population, online and television marketing, and a good idea for a celebrity to help endorse our products. Finally, I will be discussing our distribution strategy. This includes certified consultants, strategic U.S. population centers, a diversified distribution process, and self-service vending units. We are recommending that you initiate your expansion into U.S. with the Echoes product line. We believe that this line is best suited for 25 to 50 year olds, falling within a household income of 50,000 to 150,000. We find that these consumers are most concerned with health, and appearance of aging. They can be encouraged to start studying the aging process at an early age with the use of the Echoes products. Similar to Brazilians, Americans are just as concerned with soft skin as they are with sunscreen for their hair and for their skin, all of which are strong attributes to the Echoes line. This is additionally important to the population centers I'll be discussing in a few moments. In the US, there is a growing niche to have ethical and environmentally friendly manufactured products, specifically of natural origin. The Echoes line represents these standards and exemplifies Natura's commitment to sustainability. How many times have you seen something really enticing in a hotel and wanted to bring it home with you? Well, that is what we are targeting here. We want to give our consumers that wow experience by exposing them to products in hot and chic hotels like the Kipton brand. The Kipton hotels are located in our population centers of interest. These include Miami, New York, and LA. By collaborating with the hotels, we will provide samples in the rooms and leave marketing materials for our interested consumers. We will also collaborate with the spas in the hotels to, for them to use the Natura hair care and skin care products for additional exposure of their clientele. Another option to consider when exposing U.S. consumers to the Natura brand is to the use of kiosks in strategically placed locations such as malls and airports. Contrary to Natura's strategy around selling products, which is exclusively through consultants, our recommended strategy to, to provide the kiosk creates this in-store feel yet retains the exclusivity of Natura's products. And our survey revealed that 96% of our participants surveyed strongly prefer in-store retail. The kiosk offers an expedient transaction process for consumers on the go, and as we will hear in a few moments, Apple's use of the self-service distribution unit offered, generated additional profits in a short amount of time. Now we'll be discussing our online marketing strategy. First and most importantly, a conversion of the Natura website to English is critical to exposing U.S. consumers to the brand. We'll have a similar look and feel for consistent branding. This offers opportunities for social media and web-based marketing. Social media includes a Facebook fan page for Natura, <coughs> Facebook fan page for U.S. consumers uh, that includes videos of people using the, the products, as well as celebrity tweets. Web-based marketing includes cosmetic searches, banner ads for cosmetic searches on popular search engines such as Google. As expected, and based on our survey results, a growing trend in the U.S. at 66% get their uh, information from social media. Another way that we can expose the Natura brand is through the QVC and HSN, both of which are fe known for featuring new products. This helps reach a larger and more diversified audience, and we can also have our celebrity spokesperson endorse during a, a Natura showcase. As you are aware, Americans tend to buy what celebrities use. When you think of Nike, you think of Michael Jordan. When you think of digital cameras Nikon, you think of Ashton Kutcher. So when you think of Natura in the United States, you will think of Sofia Margarita Vergara. Sofia creates a strong crossover appeal due to her number one comedy, Modern Family, which rated ABC's number two amongst adults aged 18 to 49 years old. And believe it or not, while we were in negotiations with Sofia, Pepsi came in and also hired her for their dad, Pepsi brand as a spokesperson. The Natura brand is known as a great anti-aging product, which includes the acai berry and vitamin C, both of which are supported by Dr. Oz. As a matter of fact, Dr. Oz is quoted as stating, 
So the acai berry has twice that antioxidant content, so it's a great alternative. He also promotes the vitamin C as a top five anti-aging product, uh, vitamin, excuse me, and a skin damaging protectant. We can also consider engaging in a niche company such as Distinctive Assets for product introduction and branding opportunities within the entertainment industry. We can have the Natuna products featured in celebrity gift baskets. Now my colleague Jen Jennifer Bogus will discuss the product distribution strategy. Good afternoon, I'm Jennifer Bogus, and I'll be talking to you about product distribution. Natura is, Natura is known and has been operating through the use of consultants throughout its history, as my colleague Taylor has discussed in the Natura timeline. The certification process will create a professional brand for Natura sales model. Over 50% of our survey respondents are introduced to new products through social events or friends, like Pamper Chef, and Yankee Candle promote their products through social events. We will have events such as Martini Mondays and White Wine Wednesdays with Natura. We have created a diversified distribution process. We understand that consumers like options, so they will have
As my colleague Asia has stated, we plan on creating an English version of the Netsuda website and creating a Facebook page to expose our product to our consumer. Because 66% of our consumer find out about new products through the media via internet and social websites as such. As my colleagues have discuss, discussed, personal benefits is Netsuda's success factor. Direct selling is a main distribution process. The one-to-one -one communication between the trained Natura consultant and the consumer allow for them to incorporate the personal benefits as well as the world beyond the cosmetics. For example, their environmental and social benefits. In 2012, you expect a drop in your gross profit due to cost of sales to accommodate celebrity endorsement, the purchasing of kiosks, training, and regional offices, as well an initial dip in your net income of 2%, but a steady increase of 10% year after year. We believe that Natura will gain a profit by year two. However, if unforeseen challenges come your way, you will expect a profit between years three and five as a result of our recommendations. I will now pass the presentation back over to my colleague, Jennifer Bogus, for a closing. So what do you think? Are you as thrilled with Natura as we are? We have recommended that you expand into the US with your Echoes product line. We have showed you our various mark online we have showed you our various marketing strategies such as online marketing, our celebrity endorsement, green initiatives, and direct sales. We've also displayed our distribution options, for instance, the kiosk, the vending machine, and our certified consultants. We've also given you our population centers of interest, which are New York, Miami, and LA. So I hope you are as enthused with Natura as we are, because we really want to partner with you. In closing, I would like to leave you with a phrase that we thought best represented Natura. The phrase is, viva sua natureza, which means live through nature. At this time, I would like to thank you for listening to us, and I open the floor for questions. about one of your uh, points of your distribution strategy. We talk, you talked about uh, having kiosks. Where are you thinking about locating those kiosks? Uh, as kind of the first part of the question, are you physically where? Not city, but what is your point of, point of um, To answer your question, we're thinking of having the kiosks in malls and airports. I think I mentioned, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I meant, probably might have missed that, but malls and airports specifically we're thinking of. So then the, the second part of the question is, um, what would the advantage be, in particular in malls, because I was assuming it would be in malls, what would the advantage be from a consumer standpoint versus them going to the body shop or bad, 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 and all the other, all the other mall retailers that basically will be in competition with you? Our strategy around uh, the use of the kiosk create, uh, as I had mentioned, the strategy is to have a kiosk which creates this in-store feel which American consumers want. However, it keeps the strategy for Natura which is to um, buy products through a, con a consultant. So a consultant will be there talking to you about the products, engaging with you, um, and discussing with the Natura products in specific. So you get this feel with a consultant rather than just going to a bed, bath, bed, bath and beyond. <laughs> and, and, and buying it just for yourself because Natura really wants that connection between the consultant and the consumer. I understand the drop in profitability, uh, but it's very huge. I mean, why would we take a chance on that if the rebound may not happen in the future? Well, you would take a chance in the job of gross profits because those are our recommendations and in order for us to try to expose a new product, you have to take a chance and we believe that Natura will gain a profit because everyone would fall in love with their product. So I may miss this, but one of the things I didn't hear is that uh, you talked about your distribution strategy in terms of how to distribute it to the consumer. I didn't hear your distribution strategy in terms of how you're going to source product from Brazil to the United States. What are your plans for that? And if you're planning on 
doing it from Brazil, how much is that going to add from transportation costs in terms of price once you get it to the United States? Um, we actually, that is a good point that we should consider. We actually did not consider that in our profits. Um, however, at, at this point, we, we are, we're not sure how much exactly it would cost to export from Brazil to America because we did not add that in. Um, however, that is a good point that we should consider. But your plan is to export from Brazil and not have facilities in the United States or anywhere. Is that the plan, I guess? Yes. Okay.